saw dudes welcome back to another video today we're going to be working on something a little bit different than normal we have a first gen raptor that i'm going to be adding a bed stiffener to this truck has had a number of bed stiffeners made by different companies in the back of this truck and none of them seem to fit correctly so i'm going to go ahead and make one that actually works properly and the way i'm going to do that is i'll be tying off the bed bolt here as well as these two points on each side on the bed that are already in uh, the factory bed you can get to those bolt holes by removing the taillight so that'll be nice and easy to get to so my plan with this is is I have a bunch of different parts here I'm gonna be using some 3 inch wide by 3 16 thick uh, just plate it'll basically end up being an L shaped uh, piece right here and then I'll have a linkage that goes from these tabs right here to another set of tabs up here and then it'll run in between out of some inch and a quarter tubing so it'll definitely add a bunch of strength to each side of the bed because these points do want to flex when you're in the dirt and the truck's being abused off-road. They just want to flex and do weird stuff. So that'll take care of that. And the cool part about having these removable is you can unbolt the linkage and then pull it out. If you need to get something wide into the bed, you can just go straight through. You don't have to kind of pick it up over the linkages or anything like that. Because I did learn on my truck, I'll show you guys. I ended up welding everything together on this. It's a little bit different setup, but I ended up welding everything together and these get in the way sometimes when I'm trying to load things into the back of the truck. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit from this and make these removable so it's just a little bit easier. The first step for this though is gonna be cutting out the three inch by three sixteenths pieces that go in here. I know from this point right here in the edge of the bed to about here is roughly 16 inches. And then it's also 16 inches from here up to where I want to land up here so I need to cut four of those pieces out and then I'll start making the little um, basically stub pieces that go in between here for the inch and a quarter tubing that will run in between the tabs I'm gonna use these weld washers to cap the tabs off and then they'll sit in between the tabs just like that so it'll be a nice perfect fit so I need to start with that first and then we can start connecting the dots and getting everything kind of put in place some progress on this got both tail lights out and now you can see on this side right here you can see the bolt hole goes through right there and then the other one is down there so we can get to both of those now as soon as you pull the tail light makes it really easy to get to those and I'll be able to mark from the back side now with a pen and mark on my plates where the bolt holes actually need to be and then you saw I did get these all welded together. These are ready to go now. Uh, I just need to drill the hole here for the bed bolt to go back through. And then we'll have all our points on there. I'll go ahead, tack these tabs and these little uh, assemblies together onto the plate where I want them. And then we'll go ahead and connect from here to there with the uh, inch and a quarter tubing. And we'll go ahead and throw our gussets down in here and get all that tacked together and then I'll pull everything off and weld it off the truck. Went ahead and marked and drilled all the holes off camera and I got the plates prepped for where I'm going to be welding on them in the corners here and then where the tab assemblies are going to be landing as well. I ended up remaking these plates right here, the bottom ones, and I made them a little bit longer because I want the tab assembly to sit outside of this bed bolt right here and before I had the plate end basically right here and it just didn't look good having the whole tab assembly right here instead of back here. So remade these real quick. And then now I'll be able to get that tab assembly out on the base. I guess it's the inside of the bed bolt 
which will look a lot better. It'll make it a little bit, the tube a little bit longer that runs across here. That is ready to go. I do need to get this truck pulled back underneath the carport so I can get to all these spots with a welder because can't reach from here. All right guys, so as you just saw, these bed supports are completely in. We did get them powder coated. And where did we get these things powder coated? Uh, Electrotech powder coating in San Marcos. There you go. So this is Taylor, the owner of this Raptor. I did these for him just as like a little side project. They did come out super good. I'm pumped on the way these things came out. Taylor loves them too. These hooks right here, we added just as little um, tie down points. They have the D-rings on here as well that the bed bolts hold in but these are also just an extra thing that Taylor wanted to add, uh, just to add a little bit of character and they are useful as well, so. Those are from Rough Stuff also. Yeah, a lot of this stuff, you did get a bunch of this stuff from Rough Stuff, so these gussets right here, um, the little uh, end caps that we used on the tubes, these tabs, a bunch of the stuff was from Rough Stuff. So make it a little bit easier, a lot less, or it's a lot less time consuming. One other thing that he was talking about doing on these is at some point he may end up line xing over the tops of these and leaving just the tabs black and then leaving these uh, strut bars black as well so it just adds a little bit of character to it and i think it will look pretty good he was also talking about getting all of his bed bolts uh black zinc coated which is kind of a little secret that he's uh scheming <laughs> up over here which yeah. he's done this was actually his old truck i bought off of him and he's actually done let's see you can see right here all the bed bolts on this and a bunch of other stuff he got black zinc coated which is like his little signature touch so <laughs> that's something that he likes to do this is probably going to be the end of this video we got these all installed powder coated ready to go they're finally installed so if you guys like that video make sure you like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one peace <laughs>